The People's Party for Freedom and Democracy is a conservative liberal political party in the Netherlands. The VVD, whose forerunner was the Freedom Party, supports private enterprise and economic liberalism. Mark Rutte has been the party's leader since the 31st of May 2006 and on the 14th of October 2010 became prime minister of the Netherlands marking the first time that the VVD led a government The first Rutte cabinet's parliamentary majority was provided by the Christian Democratic Appeal and the Party for Freedom but this majority became unstable when the latter refused to support austerity measures amid the European debt crisis therefore a general election was held in september 2012 the vvd remained the largest party with 41 seats from november 2012 until march 2017 The VVD was the senior partner in the second Rutte cabinet, a purple coalition government with the Labour Party. VVD remained the largest party in the March 2017 election. Therefore, Rutte was expected to remain as prime minister. However, continuing the existing coalition was impossible as the Labour Party had lost 29 seats. Therefore, A center-right coalition was negotiated with the Democrats 66, Christian Union and CDA, which became the third Rutte cabinet. The VVD was founded in 1948 as a continuation of the Freedom Party, which was a continuation of the Interbellum Liberal State Party, which in turn was a continuation of Liberal Union. They were joined by the Kamai Tood, a group of liberal members of the Labour Party movement. However, they believed that the Labour Party was becoming too socialist for their liking. Oud became the merged party's first leader. Between 1948 and 1952 the VVD took part in the broad cabinets led by the Labour Party Prime Minister Willem Dries. The party was a junior partner with only 8 seats to the Catholic People's Party, Christian Historical Union Chu and the Roman Catholic KVP. In 1963, Oud retired from politics and was succeeded by the Minister of the Interior Edzo Toxopius, with Toxopius as its leader. The VVD lost 3 seats in the 1963 election. but remained in government in 1962 a substantial group of disillusioned vvd members founded the liberal democratic center which was intended to introduce a more 20th century liberal direction pointing to the classical liberal vvd in 1966 frustrated with their hopeless efforts LDC members departed the VVD altogether and went on now to form an entirely political party the Democrat 66 in 1965 there also occurred a conflict between VVD ministers and their counterparts from the KVP and APN the Marnan cabinet the cabinet fell and without an election it was replaced by the KVP AP PVDA cabinet under Joe Calls which itself also fell the next year in the following 1967 election the vvd remained relatively stable and entered yet again the cabinet under prime minister peak the young during this period the vvd had loose ties with other liberal organizations and together they formed the neutral pillar This included the liberal papers New World Rotterdamscher Courant and Algemeen Handelsblad, the broadcaster Avro and the employers organization VNO. In the Dutch general election of 1971 the VVD lost one seat and the cabinet lost its majority. A cabinet was formed by the Christian Democratic Parties. The VVD and the Labour Party offshoot Democratic Socialists 
This cabinet collapsed after a few months. Meanwhile, the charismatic young MP Hans Wiegel had attracted considerable attention. He became the new leader of the VVD. In 1971 he became the new parliamentary leader. And in 1972 he was appointed Lichtstrecker. Under Wiegel's leadership, the party oriented towards a new political course. Reforming the welfare state. Cutting taxes etc. Wiegel did not shrink from conflict with the Labour Party and the trade unions. With this new course came a new electorate. Working class and middle class voters who, because of individualization and depolarization, were more easy to attract. The course proved to be profitable. In the heavily polarized general election of 1972 the VVD gained six seats. The VVD was kept out of government by the Social Democratic and Christian Democratic cabinet led by Jupe Den Uy. Although the ties between the VVD and other organizations within the neutral pillar became ever looser, the number of neutral organizations friendly to the VVD expanded. The TROS and later Veronica New broadcasters which entered the Netherlands public broadcasting were friendly to the VVD. In 1977 the VVD again won six seats bringing its total to 28 seats. When lengthy formation talks between the Social Democrats and Christian Democrats eventually led to a final break between the two parties, the VVD formed cabinet with the Christian Democratic appeal. With a majority of only two seats. In the general election of 1981 the VVD lost two seats and its partner the CDA lost even more. The cabinet was without a majority and a CDA. Labour and D66 cab.